my name is Rob Bray with MP3 Car. We're here at CES 2010 and we are in the Ford booth taking a look at some new features that have been announced with Sync here at the show. So they've announced uh, an application, a group of applications that are new, Pandora, we've got Stitcher, and we've got Twitter. We're going to take a quick look at Twitter. So I'm here with Joe. Uh, what do we have here? What are we What are we looking at? So what I'm going to show you is OpenBeak, which is a Twitter client uh, okay. for BlackBerry. It's running on our BlackBerry Storm here. Okay. Now the application is connected to Sync via Bluetooth, and we can uh, control the application using the buttons on the center stack, on the steering wheel, and via voice commands. So let's go ahead and read the timeline of tweets of the users we're following. Now I just tweeted you, so maybe my tweet will show up here. Let's see. OpenBeak, please say a command. Read timeline. Thanks a lot giving MP3 car for the Ford Sync Twitter demo, sent four minutes ago. And there it is. How about that? So you, you mentioned uh, that it's a black pair. I guess it's playing the rest of your tweets. Yeah, it's going to go ahead and read through the timeline. Okay. And you, uh, it will even allow you to... Uh, uh, browse through all the tweets in the timeline using the uh, seek forward and backward button on the steering wheel. Okay. Now, you mentioned that it was a BlackBerry syncing Twitter thing. Now, if I have my iPhone, which I, I'm an iPhone user, how, can I listen to my iPhone tweets too? Um, so the iPhone, uh, due to certain restrictions in the iPhone API, actually won't work with this particular vehicle, but it will work with the My Ford Touch system uh, that was mentioned in the keynote. Ah, okay. So the other thing that was announced here was a uh, an app store and a developer type of network that uh, so developers can build their own app for sync. Um, right. Ford actually isn't uh, creating its own app store, but what okay. we're doing is leveraging existing app stores like the iPhone app store, oh, okay. the Android market, and BlackBerry app world. Oh, really? And so okay. what we're going to do, um, right now we're just working with a small group of trusted partners, mm -hmm. um, but in the coming year we're going to be uh, working to grow our developer community first through expanding to a larger list of trusted partners and hopefully eventually uh, releasing the SDK to the public. Okay. And the way this works is... Um, a, a set of documentation specifications will be delivered to developers. It'll describe uh, how a connection to the vehicle is established from the mobile application, mm -hmm. um, how messages are framed, and what messages can be sent back and forth between the vehicle and the application, okay. so you can control the application using the vehicle controls. Okay. So what type of things could a developer control specifically with their application? So a developer would be able to uh, send a string to appear on the display, send a string to be spoken through the text-to-speech engine. Okay. Um, the developer can send to the vehicle a list of voice commands to be supported by the application. The user can then use those by pressing push to talk and issuing the voice commands. Also, the application can subscribe to button presses um, so that you know when you press, for example, the preset buttons or the play pause, button or the seek buttons, you'd receive events about those and you can change the state or behavior of your application based on those events. So basically these presets become different based on which app you're in. So if you're in the MP3 car app, each one of those buttons could mean something specific to the MP3 car app? That's right. You okay. know, as, as the system works now, even you know, for a, a CD player or for AM, FM radio, many of these buttons work differently based on the context. So it makes a lot of sense for those buttons' behavior to change based on the context of you know, using a mobile application. Okay. So a developer, let's say, wants to work on the MyFord Touch, which is a much more media-rich environment. It's got a touch screen. It's got mm -hmm. graphical displays. What type of tools would be access, uh, accessible to the developer in a much more media-rich environment? Um, like really, all the same features will be available on this older uh, set of hardware as on the MyFord Touch system. There are a few additional features that you'll get with MyFord Touch due to the rich uh, graphical displays provided. For example, our applications, uh, or the Pandora and Stitcher application, would be able to display album art on, okay. on the display. But for the most part, it's really the same set of features, uh, getting button presses, being able to to speak and also recognize voice commands, and just update dis the display with text and also with my touch the images, as I mentioned. Okay. Will developers be able to make new instrument clusters, or is that going to be a, a different... Um, that's not something that uh, will be available in the first release, okay. but we're, we're exploring how to um, you know, iterate this and, and add new features that people are really looking for. Okay. And I was, somebody was also mentioning that, uh, that eventually you guys are going to make some of these new app enhancements backwards compatible for people that have already bought the same cars they that, think they to upgrade. That's right. Um, this feature will be available in my Ford Touch, which is launching on the 2011 Ford Edge, mm -hmm. 2011 Lincoln MKX, the 2012 Ford Focus, and on 80% of Ford vehicles by uh, 2013 or 14. 
Um, but also, anyone with a 2010 vehicle with sync will be able to download from the internet a software update, install it in their car, and they will be able to integrate with voice apps. Great. And when are you targeting for the developer kit to be released? Um, we're, we're targeting for the developer kit to be released sometime later this year, um, but you'll just have to watch the, the Ford uh, press and, and see what comes. Maybe we'll follow you on Twitter. <laughs> that would be excellent. All right. Well, thanks a lot for taking the time to give us a tour. Thanks a lot, Rob. Thanks for watching our blog.